idea of watching Tammy B. Jones, where if you don't want to buy it, then just DIY it with your home inspire. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome all new subscribers. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today I have a special treat for you, but first we're going to get through this little small quick haul and show you this decorative um, panel, sheer panel that I purchased. It's called Diamond Rain and the reason why it's called Diamond Rain is because it's covered in, in rhinestones. It's a rod pocket, meaning you have to slide the rod inside and each is two panels, but they are 38 inches wide, which is kind of narrow and 84 inches in length. I'm only going to be using these as an insert. They were $16.99 from Home Goods. I'm going to be um, inserting them in between these panels. These panels were two panels each pack. I got two packs. The color is silver with a dark pewter gray undertone. They are simply gorgeous. You guys, I wish the camera or the lighting would have allowed it to show its shine the way I see it in person. I absolutely love it. The brand is Marley. It is um, 52 inches wide and 84 inches long. Now, I don't really care for this part of the um, curtain. I really don't like curtains like this. So what I'm probably gonna do is just DIY that. Um, I don't like the rings and they're too large for my daughter's um, rod anyways. These were $24.99 though. What a great steal at home goods so while i was in home goods i also thought maybe she can use some flowers and um so i found these particular flowers i have no idea what they are can anybody tell me what flower is that they were 16.99 um synthetic fibers um the leafing looks so real i thought it was a great emulation of a leaf and the flowers itself the stem are long stem really chunky bulky flowers really beautiful i absolutely love them now you guys the moment of truth here here are the items that i purchased from the cash liquidation thrift store remember i did a video on the thrift store well i fell in love with these ottomans and i purchased two i was trying them out in my daughter's room to see if they fit they did fit perfectly. However, I did change the design and layout of what I want to do to the room. So I will be departing with those. So I will be um, selling them. They were $49 each also. And guys, you know, two weeks ago, I purchased these mirrors. I'm returning them also. I love them, don't get me wrong, but the only reason why I'm returning them is because I purchased these mirrors from the Cash Liquidation Thrift Store. And they were, six feet in height, 30 inches wide, and $19 each. Now this is on some serious heavy wood. This mirror is um, 150 pounds in weight, and um, like I said, 30 inches wide. They're super, super duper tall, six foot in height. And I absolutely love them because remember, we're gonna try to make my daughter's bedroom look kind of like a small salon private salon well it does have blemishes on the framework and a little smudges on the mirror but i was able to buff all of that out okay um and also they came with their own hinges special hinges so they were the right weight size hinges on the mirror so they were easy to hang and i'm going to show you what i'm using to hang them so i purchased these from lowe's they were $5.98 each. They are the no stud drywall picture hanger and it's for um, weight up to 200 pounds. Let me tell you that these things work, okay? They work. I live by them, I have them in various places of my home, even above my bed because I have cast iron decor above my bed. So they are super, super strong. And I bought three because I have three mirrors. The details are very easy to follow on the back. And if you don't have a drill, you can just use a nail to get a starter hole. Now, look at this. Look at this. Remember we sand this wall when my daughter painted it computer gray. And as you can see, you cannot see the words underneath. 
And now for this hook, this is what how simple it looks. Funny looking, huh? Well, it's very easy to install into the wall. And I just wanted to break it apart and show you what the parts look like. And just follow the picture direction and you'll be good to go. You really don't have to read anything on this. Also, it'll be flush and flat up against the wall. And even when you add your decor, it's gonna get even more flatter. So I added the mirror here. You can't even tell the frame. It's like, it just covers the whole entire entryway of her bedroom. Well, the bedroom is now pewter gray and the floors are now a laminated wood instead of the carpet like in that image. However, we're not done with the room. We still got ways to go. The, um, the bedding has to change with a declutter this spot. But as you can see, this is the reason why I did not want to put the ottomans in the space because I want the long mirrors. And you guys, special shout out to my friend Miranda from the Creative Living Channel. She is a hoot. She does DIYs from Dollar Tree. Check her out. You'll like her. I do. Bye. Thanks for watching.